everyone, it's Andrew. So this is going to be a quick video on my Invisalign journey for days 13 through 19. Uh, it's about the tail end of my second uh, set of aligners. And so I want to do a quick video before I switched over to the third set. Uh, before we begin, if you can just hit the like and subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. Uh, as far as the overview, kind of the second set of aligners was definitely a smoother transition than the first set. Um, as far as the discomfort, pain, those sorts of things, it, it wasn't really bothersome. As I discussed in my prior video, I had some discomfort along like the back molars here. Um, beyond that, I didn't really have any discomfort anywhere else. And what I'm finding is that my jaw alignment, especially in the back, is more um, aligned appropriately. So my back molars are aligned kind of like flat on top of each other. Previously, the top ones were uh, kind of skewed where it was pushing the bottom ones inwards, um, but that's better. Uh, the rest of my teeth kind of along the front over here are still misaligned where the, the bottom ones like right here are still kind of inwards. And then the front teeth are still kind of offset a little bit from uh, how they adjusted after my uh, tooth was extracted. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, not much else to complain about or uh, kind of describe. I would say that um, I did do a 24 uh, hour shift over the weekend this past weekend and my Invisalign or like aligners did kind of smell after that. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Uh, but essentially I took them out at like the end of the shift and then just brushed them like pretty hard with um, toothpaste and then not really soaked them with mouthwash, but essentially used mouthwash and then just got some of it on it and that cleared up the smell. Uh, the one thing I want to comment on is that for at least for this set of aligners compared to the previous ones, I didn't do the uh, cleaning crystals. Um, I used the cleaning crystals last time around day five and it, those, at least they, they didn't really show much difference as far as clarity or anything like that, but I suspect they cleaned them in some aspect that kind of preserved kind of keeping them clean throughout the entire 10 days versus this time I didn't do them. I'm kind of upset with the fact that for Invisalign, they only provide you with three packets of that, even though I've got 32 sets of aligners. Um, for the amount of money I'm spending, like thousands of dollars, it's kind of ridiculous that they don't give you more and they kind of force you to pay out of pocket for those in addition. Uh, that's kind of just ridiculous based on the price uh, that you're paying. Um, that's really it. Um, here's my third set of aligners. Um, so this is a uh, Packet three, so it comes in this clear kind of plastic pouch. It's like a Ziploc bag, and then you can see the top and bottom in it. Um, it's numbered, so you can easily tell which one it is, and it's got this peel-off tab. Uh, I'm just gonna open them now. So let's just take a look at them. So this is the um, bottom set. Sorry, my camera kind of. A lot of times has to focus a little bit. So not much difference from what I can tell. We'll see when I put them on. Um, so that's the bottoms. And this is the top. So all I'll do is just kind of take out these right now. As far as taking them in and out, it's gotten much easier. I've gotten accustomed to that, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, real quick, I'll just show you what my teeth look like. Sorry, it's gotta focus. So back here on this back side here, they're a little bit better aligned. But I still have crowding in the front there, and then that tooth there is still projected backwards. It's better than when I started. So that's it, pretty much. And then we'll throw these in. That's the top. Okay, so immediately there is a significant difference. I can feel it already. There's a lot of tightness, kind of the back here, and then much more along the front, on the front tooth here. And then the top ones here, it's tighter along the back molars here, as well as kind of the back molars on this side. So. There's definitely a difference compared to the last ones I just had. So you can tell that there's an incremental difference from one aligner to the next. Um, what my orthodontist recommended is that if these don't fit well or if there's too much discomfort, essentially is 
uh, go back to the other aligners that you just used for about a day or two, uh, depending on how you feel. And then once you feel more comfortable, then you'd switch it forwards. Uh, this is actually day nine going to day 10. I kind of switched like middle of the day on, on like day, or like 10 and a half, the first aligner. So I'm doing like nine and a half into 10 this time. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, pe people recommended uh, start like putting them in prior to when you go to sleep because uh, if you have discomfort, at least you're sleeping while that happens. Uh, so we'll see how this goes as far as the next set of aligners. Um, if anybody has any tips as far as cleaning the aligners, kind of um, give them to me. Um, that'd be great to hear uh, if you've done this before. Um, beyond that, if you just keep watching. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and uh, have a great day. Bye.